Hello, Spartan families. Uh, this is Superintendent Tim Saxton, and we're giving you a quick update on about the opening of school. A lot of people are asking about how it's going to look. A lot of questions out there. We don't have all the answers, but we're doing a lot of work in the background. It's been a busy summer here at the Boardman Local Schools. Typically, we're stripping wax off floors, painting rooms, and cleaning buildings. That is definitely going on, and then some, but we're also doing a lot of building instruction-wise. Uh, getting ready for, we plan to open on August 31st. And as the governor said, schools will be open. So our foundational plan is we expect kids to return to school. So we're working on those details. We don't have exact facts yet because we're still waiting for uh, the exact guidelines from the governor. And when those come out, we'll be able to give you a nice solid outline of how the opening, August 31st, uh, how schools will look. But what we're also building into that plan is flexibility. We learned that is crucial from from last spring. So there's two types of flexibility. One is some parents are say, I'm not sending my child to school if buildings are physically open. And we want to respect that, but we want to keep them in Boardman. So we're designing a plan for parents to choose that path. But we're also designing a plan if all of a sudden school is open and the governor shuts us down for two, three weeks, how that will look if the entire school is 100% online. So with some more information and some of the ideas behind that, uh, I'd like to introduce two special guests. My first one is Ed Adams. And he is our STEAM coach. He'll give you more details. Thank you, Mr. Saxon. Um, at the end of the school year, we pushed out a survey to our parents, and we had nearly 500 uh, respondents to that survey. The comments were wide-ranging, but uh, by far the top three uh, uh, themes from parents was, uh, one, uh, more virtual FaceTime, uh, parents want to see their, their teachers more, and I, I think the students do as well. Um, so to try to recreate uh, that classroom experience as much as they can. Uh, another big theme was uh, the need for district, uh, district-wide consistency. So um, about 58% of our respondents have more than one child in the district, so they can see uh, the disparities between buildings. So. Uh, what parents are looking for is uh, more consistent usage of uh, Google Classroom in terms of the layout. Uh, they want to see uh, uh, a commitment to a, uh, a traditional classroom routine. And finally, communication. Uh, throughout our buildings, uh, you know, uh, teachers have a variety of ways uh, with communicating with their students and the, and the parents. Uh, for example, they use Class Dojo, Remind, uh, Progress Book, email, phone calls, and what have you. Uh, so what parents are looking for with this communication piece is that we can narrow down uh, what uh, formats we're using to at least one or two. Ed, thank you. Great information. Uh... If parents want to see more about the summary of that survey, go to our website and they can get more details. Uh, that, that survey, it was, you can see how important that survey was. What a great tool. Uh, now, for one more layer of flexibility, our Director of Instruction, Jared Cardillo. Thank you, Mr. Saxon. As mentioned, uh, we have to be prepared next school year to provide instruction to our students in different ways, and we are working on that right now. Part of what we're doing is taking into consideration those surveys that Mr. Adams talked about, the parent surveys. How can we improve what we did last school year? So we're working on those. Our game plan is to have those out to you in draft form on our webpage within the next two weeks. At that time, we need your help. We need you to look at the drafts. We need you to look at the options that we're going to provide students as far as how they can receive instruction and their education next school year. And we need to hear from you. We need to know what your intentions are going to be next school year for your children. Once we have that information, we can even fine tune even better the plans that we have so that all students will have access to a Boardman education in a way that they are comfortable and that they are safe. So please, when that survey comes out, we ask you to take a look at it, to participate, and that'll help us with the logistics, the staffing, and putting together that program, program excuse me, for your child. Thank you, Mr. Saxton. Thank you, Mr. Cardillo. I, I think you heard the word survey uh, four or five times. Uh, I'm just gonna reiterate how important the, sur the first sur survey was to shape, form, and help us develop the future. 
but this next survey is even more important. We always say that communication, true, true, true communication is two ways. And like this video is doing a lot of talking to you, but that survey will do a lot of talking back to us, help us confirm the decisions we made or help us to tweak the decisions we made. So that survey, as you heard from Ms. Cardillo, should be out in about two weeks along with the draft plan. Uh, we, we really need your help. So if, uh, if you can jump on that, get that back to us quickly, uh, with some good solid information. We could build some that's good for the kids that will be physically attending here or may choose to attend online. Either way, we want to serve the kids at Boardman. Thank you for your time.